We're in between that mixed jobs report and Jay Powell on Capitol Hill tomorrow. And then later in the week, we get CPI. How do you see today shaping up? What's your Wex word of the day? Uh, my Wex word of the day is if. There's a fantastic poem by Redrick Kipling called If. And it starts off, if you can keep your wits about you while all others are losing theirs. And that is what this week is about. And that is what this earnings season is about. There's going to be hope. There's going to be despair. There's going to be beats. There's going to be misses. And you just have to take it and realize you shouldn't panic. It's probably not all good and probably not all bad. And so we look forward to this. And it's just fantastic to me. We're finally going to rotate away from this dearth of, of economic. You know, everything's been all economic. We've had no earnings, really, and I'm really excited for, for Q2 to start ramping up here in earnings season. Vicki, I never knew you were a poet. Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> you're speaking of Q2 earnings. I was reading your weekly note that you put out. Um, one thing you're looking at is financials. You have a lot of uh, thoughts about financials, specifically their shareholder return plans beyond what they've already announced. Yeah, I think obviously the stress test went very well for them. I could see buybacks increasing, dividends preferred. And I think net interest income is still going to be pretty high for them. And, you, and some of your bigger banks as well. You've got um, JP Morgan, you've got your trading, and big deal making is kind of thawing out a little bit here. MA is heated up a little bit. Trading revenue should be good. Asset management should be good. So some of these large diversified banks, I think, are going to do well, as well as not facing any concerns on deposit flight. We'll have to see where the net charge offs come in. There's always a, a couple little surprises in there. But generally, speaking, it looks like it might be a friendlier regulatory environment for financials, and they're still making a lot of money. So I look at the banks as a good place to be, absolutely. Okay. We were actually just looking at banks on a perform, but I want to get to the one sector this earnings season that you stay, that you say just stay away from. It's airlines. Why are you so, uh, not, uh, I guess, bearish on airlines right now, especially going into earnings? Because I think peak travel is behind us. Peak pricing is behind us. You've seen a little bit of issues there. You've seen costs rise. You've had a lot of new contracts. And so you're looking at margins maybe not being what they are. Right. Delta reports this weekend, they absolutely are the best of breeds in the banks. But you've seen these stocks, number one, start to trade off a little bit because I think investors are saying, okay, maybe we had peak profitability in airlines behind us. And if we have rising fuel costs, rising labor costs, and labor is a huge, huge portion of an airline's expenses, number two, usually behind uh, fuel costs. And I just don't see them as a huge catalyst and I think they're losing pricing power they just can't gain you know anymore we've seen ticket prices continue to come down and so I think you, you possibly are at risk that you're going to see a little bit more uh, okay. either misses or lower guidance which also right. is a killer recently